Um, I've been on a journey in terms of communion for a long time. And I've gone through various sort of stages of my understanding of communion, of taking communion, obviously as a group, to taking it whenever I wanted to remember what Jesus had done and apply what Jesus had done in my life. Because it, it does say, as often as you eat this, he didn't say as often you eat this as a group. So you can absolutely do this together individually. Or you can do it together as family. In the early church, they did it from house to house whenever they ate. And it was associated with a meal, not a religious ritual. It became a religious ritual because it was associated with church ritual when Constantine really sort of adopted uh, a priesthood, which never existed before in that way. So ultimately, I've been on a journey of realizing communion is eating the body and flesh of Jesus, but it's talking about not literal, a heavenly representation. Jesus in John 6 talked about the bread that's come down from heaven. And that's not the manna which your fathers ate and died in the wilderness. This is the bread from heaven. If you eat this bread, you won't die. And then if you eat my flesh, drink my blood, you'll live forever or live to the end of the age or to the age of ages. So in a sense, um, once I embraced that, I realized that this had life and power in it. And I was taking on the life of God, which was to do with not dying. Therefore, if there's anything in me that was associated with death within my DNA, within my genetic record, within my epigenetic record, within the cells of my body, which was associated with death, um, I knew that the life of God, the very life energy, which was health and wholeness, complete abundant life i could receive when i took communion uh, when i entered into that and with intention focused the life and energy that i was receiving as i was embracing the life of god really it's just a symbol of what's available to us in the fullness of god's jesus the fullness of life and through the power of what the cross represented and what he did which is obviously a representation of his body broken for us and his blood shed for us. So it's the power of the cross where every accusation against me was nailed to that cross. So I can apply that when I take communion because I'm remembering the fullness of what Jesus did, but also who he is and where he's seated now on the right hand of the father as Jesus ascended. So I can embrace and remember not just the cross, but I can remember the resurrection. I can remember the power of Jesus ascending. I can remember Jesus receiving the kingdom from the Father and giving it to us. All of that is encompassed within that one concept. I'm entering into co-union with him. And when I do do it with others, with them, because we're one body. Um, so in a sense, I went from taking it once a, a month to then we would take it every week then i would then take it every day and then i would use declarations when i took it to represent what i was believing in the life that was present in it to apply to my dna to apply to any factors in my life which were contradictory to me living in wholeness in health and in immortality and i applied it and then the father took me on a journey that if this wasn't just something I did once or twice a day, I could do this whenever I ate, because whenever I ate, I could see that symbolically as receiving life from God, which I did. So I then focused on any time I ate that I was receiving life. And then it went further into, well, actually, communion is a relationship and a state of mind, not just something I do. So it became a state of being. So I am in communion. I'm in a state of communion. I am constantly breathing in the life of God because God took me to the fact of food just doesn't come from food we put into our body. We actually receive oxygen in every breath that we take. So every breath that I take, I am breathing in the life and the name and the energy of God. And then I breathe out and breathe in this rhythm of life in which I'm in communion, I'm in this state of communion, in which health and wholeness is my inheritance within that state, and I, life is just energizing me, and I have everything I need to fulfill everything I'm called to do. So nowhere in the Bible does this say I have to do this in a group setting, 
I can do this in a group setting and I can do it as a family setting. I can do it in a small group, a large group, but I'm also, I'm now living in that state. It's not something I do. I don't take communion. I don't just see it as something I can do every day. It's who I am in that state of union, oneness with the Father, with Jesus. And I'm living in that state of living love, loving, living, 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 loving. And I am living in that state. So for me, I am not seeing this now as something I do, but who I am. I'm in communion. Communion to me is the life that I share. Whoever's joined to the Lord is one spirit with him, it says in Corinthians. And I'm joined to the Lord. I am one with him. Therefore, I'm in co-union with him. And that is bringing about in my life a transformation that I'm becoming more like him in my life. But I don't have to now think about, well, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take that. Now, occasionally I do when I feel led to. But the majority of the time, I'm just living in a state where I think about and I am in that state of co-union with him in communion in relationship in intimacy in love and in that place where everything that he is is also that to me because i'm joined to him i'm part of the mind of christ if you like i am joined to him and, and one with him in spirit therefore his life is my life his abundant life is my abundant life his joy is my joy his peace is my joy my peace his love is my love and I receive that and live in it and then enjoy life in a completely different thing. And it isn't a ritual. It's not something you do once a month. It's not something you do every day. It's a state of being where I'm living in relationship of intimacy with the Father and the Son and the Spirit. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.